hello everyone and welcome to this short tutorial on alarm management in the codesys environment i have created a, a project where i have a couple of variables declared here and i have a code written in the structure text environment the variables that i have here are the start stop and motor and alarm reset boolean variables and i also have one on delay timer as alarm timer and one counting up counter as alarm counter so the idea here is that the motor could be turned on or off using the start and stop uh, buttons or signals then i'm using the alarm timer the on delay timer in order to uh, check when the motor has been on for over two seconds i'm using two seconds here just to make the time shorter huh? then when it's the case we will have an alarm and then we i'm also using the alarm counter here which is an up counting counter the counting up input is the alarm timers output the done without the timer as you can see here and the the, the reset input is the alarm reset we have the preset value as the three it means that when the alarm in the second row happens uh, three times or more the down bit of this counter will become true and then we will receive another alarm so we will have indeed two alarms here one is when the motor has been on for over two seconds and the other one is when the the first alarm has happened for three times or more I also have uh, created the visualization. I'm going to to bring some elements here, visualization elements. Here we have the pilot lamp. It should show the state of the motor. So I'm using this uh, motor variable, the plc underline prg under dot motor as the variable for this uh, pilot lamp. I'm going to use a couple of buttons to start the motor stop the motor and and also reset the counter so we have this start button then i'm going to create the stop and also the the counter reset so this will be used for stopping the motor and this push button will be used in order to reset the counter i also need to associate them with with the proper variables in the PSC program for the start we will uh, set the variable PSC underline PRG dot start it means that when the start button is pressed that variable will be equal to true otherwise it will be equal to false with the stop we do it for the stop variable I'm also setting the the tap false for the stop so stop will change the the value of the stop variable and reset will do it for the reset variable we also have two different elements in the alarm management group in the visualization toolbox one is the alarm banner it will show only a single alarm all always so it it, it's used in order to to show to display the most recent alarm and we also have the alarm table which is used to uh, to display more than a single alarm yeah we might have several alarms happening at the same time and in the table we will be able to show them uh, in the table in it to show several alarms simultaneously we need to have some settings for them i'll go through the settings of these elements uh, in the coming minutes uh, but for now this will be the type of the visualization that we have we can also introduce the uh, the buttons the controlling buttons for this uh, alarm table i'll just explain you what are the functionalities of these uh, buttons later so for now this will be our visualization we also need to introduce the alarm to our system right click on the application and then you should choose the add object as alarm management 
alarm configuration sorry when we have the alarm configuration we have couple of elements already appearing there error info and warning are three different classes of the alarm you can use them in your project or you can create new ones we also have the alarm storage which is used to store the alarm conditions uh, there are a couple of options for it I, for now i just keep it as keep the defaults in it i don't want to determine subdirectory for restoring or some limits all right so here we have the classes error and warning are the ones that i'm going to use for the warning i'm going to tell the system that when such an alarm happens uh, i need to receive the message by when the, the background color is orange and for the font i want to have a black one with bold and 14 as the size all right so then for the error i want to have the red as the background color and white as the font and for both of them i have the archiving and acknowledge separately selected so these are the classes that i'm going to to use uh, in my alarm management system then i need to introduce new alarm alarm group to to my project in the alarm group i will define in it the alarms that may happen and i will associate different classes to the alarms so we may have more than one alarm and each alarm may be associated with a different class so that's what we are going to to do here for archiving i choose to to have the all of them archived then here in the observation type i start with the first one the type should the organization observation type should be digital and as the details i choose the done bit of the timer that we just have in our program and pressing the enter we will see that uh, we have this condition when the done bit of the timer is equal to true this alarm will happen as the class i choose the warning type here so we'll have warning and as the message we can you can type anything here yeah to to be shown to the operator we can also use some variables here but for now i don't do it so you can maybe try it on your own later so when this alarm happens we will receive this warning with the message that we have here with the orange background and black font then the second type of the alarm that we have is regarding the down bit of the counter choosing it and pressing the enter we will have the alarm counter dot q equal to true meaning that when the down bit of the counter becomes true we will have the alarm and the class for this alarm will be error so the background will be red and the font will be uh, white for this kind of alarm and we can also have some text uh, shown to the operator when this kind of alarm happens all right so here we have indeed the definition or declaration of the alarms the properties that we have for them and uh, now i think we are done with alarm uh, configuration we can just uh, go back to our visualization and and try everything in the runtime for now for the alarm table i'm using all the alarm groups but it's up to us we can use only the alarm group that we have we can have multiple in the alarm groups and we can have a table alarm table displaying only information for some of them so let's build our code and if everything is fine we will log in and try the code in the runtime all right so there are no errors hopefully okay so let's just log in and run the code to see if, when the alarms happen and what we see in the alarm table and alarm banner 
All right, so I bring the visualization here such that I have also access to the code. I can see the values for different variables over there, including the alarm timer and alarm counter. Pressing the start motor will turn on and after two seconds we will receive the first alarm which is in the form of a warning. The message is displayed there. Then pressing stop, the alarm will disappear because we don't have the alarm condition anymore. If I press start again, that will happen again. Pressing start, the motor will turn off, alarm will disappear. And then when we have the alarm for the third time, we will have the second alarm appeared as well. You see that it's in the form of, a, of an error with red background and white uh, font. Pressing stop button will stop, but we still have that alarm condition over there. So we haven't indeed reset the counter. In order to reset that error, we can press the reset button, then the counter will reset, and the alarm should indeed disappear, but here it is waiting for the acknowledgement from the user. So clicking it and then acknowledging it, by pressing on acknowledge the selected one, the alarm should disappear. And that's what happens here. Yeah? This, this alarm, the error alarm that we have is a little bit different than the warning alarm. And I will tell you later what's the difference. So in this way, we can see that the alarms, different type of alarms are uh, happening when then when they happen when they happen they are shown we also have the history option here by pressing the history button we will see all the the alarms that have happened in the past so you can see here the list of the alarms different we have two in it different alarms when they have happened we we have them here with details regarding the time and the message we can also use this freeze scroll position. If I press it, I can still scroll the, the table here and have a look at a selected one. But then if when this is freezed, we receive a new alarm, the new alarm will not be shown. So I will still see the, the alarm that I had selected. But if this is not the case, if we don't have the freeze scroll uh, position selected, then when a new alarm happens, we will automatically go to the first row here in order to see the new alarm. And then we can reset, we can uh, turn off the history to see the, the alarms which are not acknowledged, and then click on them and click on the acknowledge selected, and in this way the alarm will be acknowledged. So let's uh, go off log out and have a look at the differences between these two between the, the two different types of alarms here we have the warning you can see that it is the acknowledgement method is in the form of rep and then we have the error class where we have the rep and acknowledge so for this type of the alarm we need to acknowledge the alarm if we acknowledge it then the alarm will disappear from the table, otherwise it will remain over there. Uh, Alright, so that's all for this video. I hope you have enjoyed watching it and have learned how to do the basic alarm management in the Codesys environment. Uh, if you have any questions, you can write it down as a comment and I'll try to address the questions. If you like the video, please don't forget, don't hesitate to recommend it to, to your friends, to the people whom you think that find, will find the video, the tutorial helpful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video soon.